Hey, this is Tristan at Hip Cooks in West Los Angeles, and it's Valentine's Day. So what better way to wake up with your sweetie with some lovely crepes? So our ingredients for crepes are three eggs, three tablespoons of melted butter, one cup all-purpose flour, one quarter cup of granulated sugar, lemon for the zest, and some pure vanilla extract, and one cup of milk. So think about mixing the wet ingredients first. I'm gonna give those a quick whisk. Put the sugar in. Sugar is considered a wet ingredient when you're baking. Crazy, isn't it? And the milk. One cup of milk. Use whole milk. It'll make the crepes a lot richer. Okay. Probably a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, and I'm gonna check my butter. You don't want your butter to be too hot before putting it into this mixture. Okay, just whisk that in. And then we wanna add the one cup of flour. So slowly sprinkle that in while you're whisking your ingredients together. This consistency is looking good for crepe, so I just left out a couple tablespoons of flour. We don't want our crepe batter to be too thick. All right, that's looking good. Notice that it's a lot looser than pancake batter, if you've ever made pancakes. And one of the last things we do is some zest of the lemon for extra flavor. You can also do orange or lime. Ooh. So my pan's heating up. I'm gonna use some spray oil to oil the bottom of that. Sure that's nice and hot before we put any of the batter in. So take a little bit of the batter, check it out and see how well it cooks. When you're making crepes just like pancakes, don't be surprised if the first one turns out a little odd or it's not as pretty as you might like it. It's probably because the pan isn't just where it needs to be. So I'm gonna turn down the pan to medium. And when you're making crepes, you don't want more than maybe two tablespoons of batter because the idea is to twirl the pan and you want the thinnest possible. So, into your hot pan, and then give it a little twirl. You wanna move it around so it gets to all the edges. So you're looking for thin. Okay, and back on the heat for about a minute, and then we'll flip it. Alrighty, the edges of the crepe are starting to get a little golden, that's what I want, so I know that's about time to flip it. Get your spatula and pull it up with your finger and flip, and then we have a nice, lovely backside of the crepe that's golden, that's just what we're looking for. So give this about 30 seconds, and then onto a plate and ready to eat. All right, give your pan a shake. If the crepe's moving around, that's a good sign that you're ready to go. And onto the plate. So once the crepe's on the plate, it's ready to fill with all our delicious fillings. So our crepe is ready to dress with whatever you like to put on it. I love lemon juice and powdered sugar, so I would bring to the table some fresh lemon, squeeze that over the top, just a little bit, about a teaspoon, and then take a little bit of powdered sugar through a sieve. Whoa! That really poured out, but that's okay, because what you do is then roll it up and dust it again. What a fantastic thing to wake up to, homemade crepes. Make them for your sweetie on Valentine's. Enjoy the crepes, enjoy your romantic day. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see me prepare any other recipes, please send an email to requestatmahalo.com and in the meantime, check out our other videos.